Now, let's begin our award ceremony. It is my great pleasure to announce our Lifetime Achievement Honoree for 2020, Lydia S. Martinez. Lydia was the manager of community outreach for Southwest Airlines. She was responsible for the local and regional community outreach across the country. She crafted strategic plans around regional relationship development and imparted relationship management techniques within emerging markets to her team. Lydia established and maintained a portfolio of highly respected strategic partnerships with civic, business, and philanthropic organizations, as well as major universities to achieve mutual strategic objectives. For almost 20 years, Lydia worked with external stakeholders to ensure that Southwest Airlines maintained a visible leadership position within our community and set the standard for outreach and corporate social responsibility in Southern California. Lydia recently retired after 30 years of service to Southwest Airlines. In recognition of her service to the state of California, Todd Gloria, the newly elected mayor of San Diego, proclaimed July 16, 2020 as Lydia S. Martinez Day. Council member Dr. Jennifer Campbell also proclaimed July 16th as Lydia S. Martinez Day. She continues to serve her community by being involved in a variety of organizations dedicated to empowering underrepresented communities. Congratulations, Lydia. Before we hear from Lydia, here are a few folks who wish to express their gratitude. Hi, this is Elizabeth Fitzsimons with the San Diego Regional Chamber of Commerce and LEAD San Diego. It is my absolute pleasure to share in the celebration of Lydia S. Martinez, who has put so much of her time, heart, and brilliance into making our region a better place to live and work. Lydia has touched so many lives in our community. Southwest could not have asked for a better ambassador for all the positivity, generosity, and optimism that Lydia spreads wherever she goes and in everything she does. What sticks with me most about Lydia is that generosity as a friend, as a mentor, and as a partner. She invests in people um, as much and probably more than what she invested financially through Southwest into a nonprofit's mission. She sees potential in people and then she dives in. She has this deep reservoir of knowledge and skill and strategy and boy, is she sharp and she gives it away so freely and joyfully. There's no guarding, no hoarding of all this deep knowledge, just abundance, always abundance with Lydia. And so I am wishing Lydia an abundance of happiness, ease and great satisfaction in this next chapter knowing that she has planted seeds and watered them and now those people in whom she saw such great potential have grown into great strong trees thank you lydia and congratulations on this honor lydia on behalf of the entire southwest airlines family congratulations on your lifetime achievement award i have the distinct privilege of picking up the torch and continuing to build the legacy that you started it's a pretty overwhelming job, but if it weren't for you, I wouldn't be so confident going into it. You spent the last five years opening doors, creating opportunities, and mentoring me so that when an opportunity to advance my career came along, I would be ready. And for that, I am eternally grateful to you. But my story is not unique. I think anyone that knows you has a similar story of Lydia believed in me, or Lydia took a chance on our organization, which allowed us to elevate to the next level to achieve our mission. And I think that is the kind of transformative leadership that our communities deserve. Thank you for being a bold leader. Thank you for seeing in people what they can't see in themselves sometimes. And thank you for challenging us to be our best. I cannot think of anyone more deserving for this award. Congratulations. Lydia, congratulations on this prestigious award. When I think of you and I reflect on all you have shared with your local San Diego community, communities across the state of California, and really across the country, I can't think of anyone more deserving than you for this Lifetime Achievement Award. Your commitment, passion, loyalty, bias for action, coupled with what I think is a heart as big as Texas, I know that is what makes you so uniquely special. And I also know that those who know you would agree. 
You have given so much of your time and yourself championing causes in our communities, being a voice for those often unheard, pushing the envelope so that we can realize true progress, being a mentor and a sponsor to hundreds of women across the country, and really being a cheerleader for those you love. I know that I've had the privilege of working alongside you for almost 20 years at Southwest Airlines, and we've had a lot of fun along the way. We've blazed trails, we've attended historic events, and we were just doing what we could from our heart to make a difference in our communities and for our company. Yes, this award is a Lifetime Achievement Award, but I know you're just getting started, and I'll be here cheering you on from the sidelines. On behalf of your Southwest Airlines cohorts and our collective communities, congratulations. Lydia, congratulations on this Lifetime Achievement Award. Throughout your 30 years at Southwest Airlines, you've made so many contributions around the country, but especially in San Diego. You not only provided first flights to so many hermanitas and college students around the country, but you made nonprofits stronger because you are a nurturing philanthropist. That is part of your legacy. I am grateful to be one of so many you have lifted up. Thank you for turning a job that had the potential to help so many and making it your mission. I know your contributions will continue. Enjoy your well-deserved retirement. Felicidades, hermana, and thank you for all you have done. Thank you, Barb, and thank you to the San Diego Business Journal for this most beautiful recognition of my dream career with Southwest Airlines. I also want to congratulate all of this year's Business Women of the Year Award recipients and nominees. I accept this Lifetime Achievement Award with great emotion, and I am humbled to join past honorees of this prestigious commendation. For years, I've heard about the imposter syndrome, and honestly, I feel that sentiment in receiving this special recognition. I'd like to start by sharing one of my favorite quotes by Melinda Gates. If you are successful, it is because somewhere, sometime, someone gave you a life or an idea that started you in the right direction. Remember also that you are indebted to life until you help someone less fortunate, just as you were helped. These wise words guide me and remind me of my village, the very kind and generous village that has been by my side each step of the way and has contributed to me becoming a lifetime achiever. I accept this award with each of you in my heart. This, of course, includes my husband, Ted, and my children, Melina and Teddy, who have shared so much of their time with my community. Without their support, love, and understanding, I would not be here before you today. I also owe a huge debt of gratitude to my brother and my sisters, who have shown me unconditional love my entire life. Not a day goes by that I don't think of them in our upbringing. Back in the early 70s, our hardworking mother brought me and my 10 siblings from Ciudad Juarez, Chihuahua to El Paso, Texas. As a young girl from Mexico, I would have never imagined growing up to lead such an impactful career at Southwest, let alone receive a Lifetime Achievement Award from the San Diego Business Journal. It is a huge honor to me and it carries a great deal of responsibility. How lucky we were that someone lived by the wise words of Melinda Gates. People saw our need and they gave us a life that set us in the right direction. This kindness has kept me grounded and rooted in where I came from and why it all matters. It has been a privilege to represent Southwest in San Diego and across the country. I also take great pride knowing that I served as my community's voice within corporate America. This translates to years of helping to bend the needle toward the philosophy and the practice of corporate social responsibility that Southwest has become known and beloved for. I supported local nonprofits that have forever changed the lives of many. That support helps students go on college tours from coast to coast, create a world that is just and fully equal for all LGBTQ plus people, empower Latinas, fly black and brown kids to DC to learn about civic engagement, 
elevate and advance urban leadership, and provide a place where local families in need can find the means to self-sufficiency. All of this while building goodwill and strong brand loyalty for Southwest. This wasn't easy. So much of what we did was going against the grain. Terms like bold leadership have been used to describe my approach, which is a huge badge of honor. But you know, I was not always bold. People laugh when I tell them I was once a very shy and quiet person. I really was, but I quickly learned that I had to speak up or I would be working somebody else's vision and somebody else would be telling my story. My passion to champion the less fortunate gave me the confidence to speak for those who were not in the room. And yes, that also meant having difficult and sometimes awkward conversations. But guess what? That approach worked for me, so I celebrate being referred to as a bold leader. I would like to thank Laura, Kelly, Elizabeth, and Ines for their kind words and strong support throughout the years. Each one of you has contributed to my success, and I respect and admire your given hearts and your passion to community. My partner in fun, Leah Coons, Southwest Vice President Controller, who from day one championed all things San Diego. We had fun supporting important causes, and more importantly, we became friends for life. As for me, while I enter the new and wonderful world of retirement, I will continue to coach, mentor, and connect women so they too can find their true success. I will also continue to follow my passion and support leaders and organizations that advocate for equity, equality, human and civil rights. All of this should keep me plenty busy and out of bad trouble. In closing, I ask my fellow leaders in business to please join me in living by Melinda's quote. All businesses, small and big, have an opportunity to bring value to people's lives. Let's help those less fortunate and give them a life of opportunities that will get them going in the right direction. Because who knows, your next best hire may just be that little girl from Ciudad Juarez, Chihuahua. Thank you so much and love to all. Thank you, Lydia, for those inspiring remarks. Congratulations again on this well-deserved award.